could have been a whole lot worse. Construction workers today removed a 15,000 pound balcony that fell at a Cocoa Beach condo building. But it could have been a deadly situation. West 2's Dan Bella reports on how engineers are working to make sure this building is safe. Without warning, there was no wind gust, no extra weight, certainly no earthquake. The balcony at the Villa Verde condominium complex just crashed down onto the one below. It's 15,000 pounds of concrete. No one underneath it could have survived. But fortunately, no one was on either the collapsing balcony or the one below. It would have been devastating. Devastating for Bavard County. The condo association has intimidated the residents into keeping quiet in front of the media, but I did talk to the guy off camera who lives in that unit. He's happy to be in one piece today. Says he was golfing when it collapsed. He says his grandchildren had been on the balcony celebrating Easter the day before. He'd been there himself a few hours before the collapse, having morning coffee. Workers carefully removed the broken balcony, which had pivoted down like it was on a hinge. Now the question is whether the other residents of the building can safely go on their balconies. Brevard County's chief building official is here in person. And we're currently under investigation of, of what the causes are here. There'll be forensics being done on, on the steel in the building and, and the condition of the existing balconies and also the, the collapsed balcony. The preliminary take is that the problem likely is confined to just the one balcony. The owner of that condo says he'll continue living there and avoiding stepping out his third floor glass door while repairs are made. Near Cocoa Beach, Dan Billow, West 2 News.